Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, modern cinematic trailer title in After Effects. You can see its preview playing in the background. So without any wait let's get into After Effects and start creating it. Let's create a new composition. Name it as title. Set width to 1920. Height to 1080 pixels. Set frame rate to 30. For this demonstration, I will set time duration for this composition to 5 seconds. If you want you can also increase the time duration depending on your requirement. It's completely up to you. Here first we will add main text, and subtext, and after that, we will create a solid background for titles. And later we will try this created titles on video footage. So let's add main text. This will be our main text. Here I am using Montserrat font family. Let's set font style to semi bold. Now we will increase the font size. Perfect. Let's change the text to all caps. We will align the text to center. Perfect, now our text is ready to get animated. For text layer, in animate, select tracking. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline. In range select a 1. Create a keyframe for offset, change offset value to minus 100%. Now at end of the timeline, change offset value to 100%. Now in advance, change shape to ramp up. In add, from property, select opacity. Let's set the opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Let's make them random. Let's on the randomize order. You can see the preview. Set random seed to near about 20. In Add, from Property, select Scale. Let's adjust the scale value, set it to near about 50%. In Add, from Property, select Blur. Change Blur value to near about 70. Now you can see the preview. Now for end keyframe for offset, let's change keyframe assistant to easy ease. In graph editor, let's adjust the speed graph. For main text, let's again add tracking. Now at start of the timeline, create a keyframe for tracking. Change tracking amount to minus 5. Now at end of the timeline, change tracking amount to 5. You can see the preview. Perfect. Our main text is ready. Now let's add the subtext. First we need to create duplicate of our main text. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Let's position the created duplicate layer, below the main text. This will be our subtext. Now let's change the text. Perfect. 
Now for the subtext, we will reduce the font size. Let's change font style to light. Let's adjust subtext position. Perfect. For subtext, press U to view created keyframe. Let's position the end keyframe of offset, at 3 seconds. Now let's position the subtext layer at 1 second, now the subtext starts at 1 second. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select both text layer. Pre-compose them. Let's name the composition as text. Perfect. Let's see the preview. Here our text part is over, now we will, create our solid background. Let's create a new solid layer. Name it as background. Let's place it below text composition. Now in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to solid background. Here you need to set start and end color as shown. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Here we will set ramp scatter value to 300. Now in effects and preset, search for trite tone. Add it to solid background. Now change the midtone color. Here you can set any color for your background. You can see the preview. Let's try this title on media file. Here I will import media file. I will import this footage. Let's add it to the timeline. Let's see the preview. Perfect. To match the footage you can change the text or title color. Let's create blur effect for footage and text. To create this, first, we need to create an adjustment layer. Position it above the text composition. Now in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 4 seconds. Create keyframe for blur radius. Set blur radius to 0. Now at end of the timeline. Change blur radius to 50%. Select repeat edge pixels. Perfect. You can see the preview. If you want this blur effect for only the text layer and not for the background layer. Then you need to apply this camera lens blur effect to your text composition. Now let's add some color fade effect to our title. Create a new solid. Name it as color. Place it above the adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset. Search for fill. Add it to solid color layer. Here you can set any color you want. I will set it to white. Perfect. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for opacity. Now at 1 second, change opacity to 0%. 
you can see the preview. To make our title look more cinematic, let's add the film strip to our composition. Create a new solid. Name it as the frame. Now you need to draw a mask as shown. Perfect. Now change mode to subtract. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect, here our cinematic trailer title is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, then make sure to like this video and if you have any question or queries let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.